So in this picture, we can see the different stage of ulcer, right? The first picture stage one, second stage two, stage three, and stage four. Another um, type of ulcer is called unstageable. Let first of all, the picture, what we can see. The stage one is called non blinchable erythema. Stage two, two is partial thickness. Stage three, full thickness skin loss. And stage four, full thickness tissue loss. You see full thickness skin loss and stage four, full thickness tissue loss. Don't miss it. So I'm going to talk about the stage one. In the stage one, intake the skin may be painful. So first of all, see the layer. This is called outer layer of the skin. And this is called adipose tissue, adipose tissue or fat tissue. And this one is a muscle layer and finally bones, bones, right? So in the first picture or stage one, most of the skin is intact. Intact the skin with an area of persistent, non-bleachable redness typically over a bony prominent. So usually ulcer occur, in, especially ulcer started in case of bony prominent, like sacrum, malleolus, lateral malleolus, right? So this is stage one, intact the skin, and it is maybe painful. And some book explain, Go in the another picture, like here, the stage one, you see the blanching on pressure. This is the outer layer skin, adipose tissue or fat, fascia, muscle layer, and bones. So in the picture number one or stage number one, the skin is intact, but if you see, this is a redness. You see the redness on the skin? So a redness area on the skin that when the, you put the pressure does not turn white or color that does not fade within the 30 minute of removing the pressure. So my friend, if you put a pressure is a good skin, it would be re-back the position within a second. But in case of ulcer, this area take time longer to re-back the position. 30 minutes long, right? So in this picture, like here, grade one, you see the both areas are intact, but abnormal. They said non blanchable erythema. Erythema means redness of intact skin. So, in the stage one, intact skin, don't miss it. Intact skin with an area of persistent non blanchable redness. This is the non blanchable redness. Redness typically over the bony prominence. This is the uh, hill, right? Bony area. The big bones on the foot here, a bony prominent, which maybe feel, if you touch, you can feel hot, warm, or cool to touch. That's it. If we go in the stage two here, you see the stage two, partial thickness, the shallow open ulcer. It is not deep, shallow. Red and pink wound bad, 
go in the second picture here, stage two, non-blanching cyanosis. So I put three picture because of some medical terminology in NCLEX board, we do not know which terminology we will get. So if you see three picture, three terminology, there are no way you miss the answering in board exam, right? So here showing picture, blister formation and also breakdown of the skin in case of stage two. So this one say partial thickness skin loss. Partial thickness skin loss involving epidermis and dermis layer. Dermis and epidermis layer. In this picture, you can see here, the ulcer is visible and superficial. The ulcer is a visible and superficial. This picture blister formation and may appear as an abrasion. This is the abrasion or blister or shallow uh, ulcer. Usually edema persistent or the ulcer may become infected possibly the pain, also scanty drain occur. What wrote? Partial thickness skin loss involving epidermis and dermis or both, the ulcer is superficial and present clinically as an abrasion or blister. This is called blister, right? So now go first picture, the stage three. It is called full thickness skin, but stage four, full thickness tissue loss. Don't miss it during the board exam. Four, stage four, tissue loss. Stage three, skin loss. So they said here, subcutaneous fat may be visible. This is the subcutaneous fat or slough or shankar may be present bones, muscle, tender, not exposed. You see, not. But the stage four, it bones, muscle, tendon exposed. So I said the number three here, now come in this picture. So purulent discharge means pass discharging occur involved of subcutaneous tissue. So they said it is the full thickness, it is the full thickness uh, skin loss with a damage to or necrosis of subcutaneous tissue, necrosis occurred. The ulcer may extend down. The, this is the ulcer you can see in the picture. This ulcer may extend down to, but not through underlying fascia. So they do not touch the bones here, not touch even fascia, right? The ulcer appears as a deep creator with or without under, um, undetermining of adjacent tissue or without expose the muscle or bones, right? Now go this picture here, it is called a stage three or grade three, the full thickness skin loss involved the damage or necrosis of the subcutaneous tissue that may extend down to, but not through the underlying fascia here. And another stage is number four here, you see. In this picture, the ulcer occurs stage four in sacral area. This is another bony prominent. This patient, if lie down for a long time, okay, they can chance to develop a pressure on the, the area they lie down for a long time. So as a RN or LPN, it is very important how to take care of a patient who have the ulcer or wound. 
we are coming discussion later on, but first of all, let me explain the stage number four. In the stage four here, full thickness tissue loss, expose the bones, tendon and muscle. But number three, the bones, muscle and tendon not exposed. And here is exposed. Sloughing or shankar may be present. Here is it is same, right? Now here, this is the stage four, involvement of muscle tissue. Here, involvement of muscle tissue. So stage number four, here you can see blackening, right? So full thickness tissue loss with a destruction or tissue necrosis. Necrosis means blackening damage to the muscle, bones, or supporting structure. And there may be sinus formation or deep pocket of infection, shankar or sloughing. So here extensive destruction of the tissue necrosis, damage to the muscle, bones, or surrounding structure with or without full thickness skin, right? So if I go back here, another ulcer, it is called unstageable ulcer. Unstageable ulcer means ulcer, those stays cannot be determined because of shanker or sloughing cover the wound. So I said here, like what is sloughing or what is shanker? Uh, the word or terminology, shankar means black tissue uh, materials, blacking tissue. And sloughing means tan, yellow or green uh, scarf-like tissue materials, is it? Now a question sometimes and flexible asks, as a RN or LPN, how we can take care of a patient who has a wound? Like this picture, a man has a wound on their sacral area. First of all, keep in mind, there's a few points I want to tell you. Frequently changing the position of the patient. Frequently changing the position of patient. Usually every two hours. And never give a hot bath or use a hot water period of dermal pressure ulcer. Also, pillow for support and raise the head of bed at least 30 degree. Okay. Also keep in mind, never massage over the bony prominent area and also give them at least 2,000 milliliter fluid every day. 2,000 milliliter or two liter. Let me recap it. I said as a LPN or RN, how to take care of a patient who have a wound. Uh, number one, frequently changing the position every two hour. Never give a hot bath or use a hot water period on the dar uh, dermal pressure ulcer or pillow for support and raise the head of the bed at least 30 degree. Never give a massage over the bony prominent area and give the two liter of fluid or 2000 ml of fluid every day. 